So The Sims 4 has released a brand new pack. It's released, it's been dropped. Yeah, we're gonna check it out today and look at it. It is The Sims 4 Courtyard Oasis Kit. And it looks like one of the most beautiful packs I've seen aesthetically. So I'm really excited to check it out. Okay, so first up, let's check out the wallpapers. We have this one right here, boldly brushed. So it's just a textured wallpaper in some vibrant colors. I like the brown color. That's a nice color. I like the off-white as well. The more vibrant colors, I feel like we have very similar wallpapers. So I'm not like, oh my God, about this plain wallpaper. But really the purpose of those wallpapers are to tie in with this newer wallpaper, which is this gorgeous Moroccan inspired tiling, which yes, I love it. It's very pretty. We have tiling that covers the whole wall, tiling that covers the half wall. <gasps> Ooh, I like this green one. It's very pretty, very pretty indeed. I kind of feel like it would have been easier to have the full colored swatch, the half tile, half color swatch, and then the full tile swatches. I think that probably would have been a better way to organize it. We actually already have this wallpaper from Jungle Adventure, the plain swatch. So that's a repeated wallpaper. Um, maybe there's a slightly different hue difference, but yeah, that's the same wallpaper again. Um, and I, I think it's important for new packs to have new wallpapers. Even if they're a plain wallpaper, there's still a lot of colors we don't have. So it would be good if that was double checked so you do get new content. All right, so in terms of flooring, we have this lovely tiling, which I really like. I think this is beautiful. And oh, that's nice. That's cool. So you can make a whole heap of different patterns and alignments. We do have a new exterior trim. And this is what I'm really excited to see. Ooh, yeah. Now this is very different. I like it, it's very pretty. And then I assume we're also going to get, yeah, these as spandrels, which this is probably one of the most beautiful parts of this new kit. Like, look how stunning these are. I feel like, I feel inspired to build with this. This is very pretty. And I'm sure anyone who comes from places in the world with architecture like this or from Morocco will be so appreciative to be able to recreate what's around them in the game. Wow. It's nice to have two options as well. Now there's obviously going to be some pillars or columns to go with this. So these have tiling on them. Ooh, very pretty. <gasps> I really like the plain white and like the more plain options. And then I also like having the extra tile decor on them as well. Wow. I like these. <gasps> this makes me want to be a princess. Is that anyone else's response to this? Like, I want to be a princess now. Ooh, and I didn't realize this, but we do get a new fence as well. Now this fence, I think will be actually quite versatile, which will be really, really, really handy. And this is also really good to see because there is a platform trim that also matches. If we increase the platform that is on top of a foundation right now, that's what we can paint that with. Um, I feel like maybe it would have been good to just have it also as a foundation paint. Um, I mean, why not? So yeah, I would have liked to have that as a foundation paint as well. Especially because platforms are so new, I feel like people are more likely to use the foundations. And then we also have matching stairs. Okay, hmm, this doesn't quite match either. I don't know, it's not quite a match. Um, I don't know if it's deliberate, but I feel like that should match, so. Eh. But I'm glad we have stairs and look, it's not that noticeable, but I just feel like we needed these to alternate in colors as well. I almost forgot to show you guys that there is also a stair railing. Okay, so windows are, wow. Okay, that's very pretty. Definitely goes with the pack and works with the other pieces in build mode. And then we also have a smaller version of the window, which is great as well. Look at that. Then we've got a door as well that matches the windows. Very pretty as well. Oh, look at that in the green. I'm so obsessed with green at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay, there's an arch as well. I'm impressed by this. I'm impressed with the number of items. That is so pretty. 
Okay, so we've got the door, the arch, and oh my gosh, okay. Look at this big door. Ooh, oh wow. Okay, I love that there's a door on one side and I love the framing on the other side. And then we have a bigger version of the arch as well. It's very nice. And then this next piece, I think I'm gonna be extra blown away by. <gasps> yes, wow. That is so pretty. I love these doors that are carved. <gasps> oh my gosh. This might be my favorite piece from the whole thing. And yeah, I think this kit is also going to pair very nicely with Jungle Adventure. We have this, which is really beautiful. It's more tiling to place over your floor tiling. So I suppose it works a little bit like a rug object, um, but this comes in some really nice different patterns of tiling. I think it's so pretty. Oh, yes. Okay, I've fallen in love with this couch. I'm liking this pack more than I thought I would for sure. <gasps> Look at that version. And this is definitely something that I really wish came in a white swatch or a light timber so badly. Every object should have a black and white swatch. In saying that though, I think this is very, very beautiful for sure in any case. And there is a matching armchair as well, which is great because you can make a really pretty seating area. I guess the beauty of all of these different tiles is that you can tie in so many different colors together. Then we have, ooh, beautiful side table. That's nice. And it's got beautiful detailing on the legs. This is looking really, really pretty. And I like how it has a bit of a goldy kind of top to it. Um, that's really nice too. <gasps> so pretty. And then we have this, which is definitely a hero object in the pack for me as well. <gasps> I love this coffee table and I love that we don't have anything that's this shape. I really like it. I really, really like it. <gasps> Stop it. Ooh, this palm tree, very nice. Um, you know, it's a nice feature to have in the middle as well. And the best thing is it actually fits perfectly within this, which I really, really appreciate. Like it fits in the center, like it's, like it's made for it. Look at this palm tree. I'm gonna put this in all my mansions. Do we get a plain pot? Yes, we do. How good does that look? Yes. <gasps> oh, wow, look at this. Okay, this I know I'm gonna use in so many of my houses too. And you know what I actually really like about this is that the paint is dripping inside the rim because it makes it look like real pottery. And I just, I love that little, that little detail. Oh, and I love the basic terracotta look as well. Now this is an item that would look really nice size down too. And you can kind of put two together with the move objects on cheap. Those are so pretty. <gasps> oh, and I just saw this tea set. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think this is so beautiful. I'm just checking that it doesn't light up because it looks like there's candles. Oh wait, no, they're not candles, they're, they're teacups, duh. Then I think last of all, we have a couple of lanterns and lights, which is definitely great to see for this pack as well. So this is a big lantern and this is a really nice object. These objects are super high quality. And I love, 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 love the colors. Love these so much. Um, and then we also have the wall version of it too. So that is really stunning. This is a really pretty pack. This is so nice. Great to see the white swatch and the black swatch. The only other thing that I honestly just went looking for is a hanging version of this light, like a hanging lantern. That's like the last object I was like, oh, do they have one of those? I would really like one of those. There's also a fountain. I wonder how it sits on here. It sits beautifully on this center stone and it's got rose petals in it. That is really gorgeous as well. So I guess now what I'm gonna do is just give you guys my overall thoughts of this pack and whether or not I think it's 
worth you getting it. Does this pack get the deli approval? Overall, I'm really impressed by how many items you get in this kit. Considering it's smaller and cheaper than a stuff pack, I think it's a really good amount of items. In terms of me personally, if I'm gonna be using it much, I definitely think I'll use it more than I thought I would. So yeah, personally, I really like the pack. I'm impressed by it. I would get it if it's something that you like. But obviously, if there's other packs that interest you more, I mean, that's up to you. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this pack yourself or this kit. I keep calling it a pack, but kit, pack, whatever. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this review. And as always, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag.